Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A quick short video on javalips.com. You can go to this particular site and you can search for any dependency which is available on Maven repository or Maven centralized repository. For example, let's see if you are looking for a Selenium dependency, you can search for Selenium Java. And uh, it, this will give you a lot of information here. That is uh, uh, what exactly the basic description is all about, last release and how many uh, releases are there from last uh, you know from last 10 years or whatever number of years from the beginning they started 2011 12 and everything we all know that that recently 4.1 is available and uh, the last stable build that we have seen 3.141.59 that was released in 2018 and then after that there are many alpha versions beta versions rc and then finally the new version is available that is 4.1.1 uh, last December 2021 they released. In fact, if you really want to go to the specific dependency, you can go there, the Maven dependency also you can copy, Gradle also you can copy, Gradle, KT, Scala, download also you can do that and you can download the source, JAR and the Java documentation also you can download and the good thing about how many external or internal dependencies are being used for this so you can go to 67 dependencies are being used and it's giving you a kind of a chart over here like this here you can see this is a neuro chart here and here you can see that this is the selenium hq selenium java is using these are the uh, dependencies are there like it's a combination of multiple dependencies like selenium firefox xpa driver firefox driver dev tools driver and everything Let's see some other dependency. For example, let's see, I really want to see what happened with a testng dependency. You can search for testng and uh, for testng, uh, first release two decades ago and last release were two months ago. So you can check the latest stable version. In 2016, they released the maximum number of releases, 18 releases they did in 2016. And then after that, uh, since 2020, only one release per year that is what they are releasing in the last release 2022 they are using two dependencies here you will see that and uh, here they are using uh, webjar query the testng 7.4.0 which is actually using the BUSE j commander 1.7.8 on the basis of that they are creating the maven uh, final repository over here like this there are many dependencies you can see that if you really want to see with respect to log4j and uh, if you see this log4j core dependency the log4j core dependency uh, in 2021 10 different releases because of the vulnerability they released it and uh, here you can see that uh, the recent releases was that right and you can check the gradle version also maven version also like this you can just open the specific dependency here externally they are using uh, one dependencies and you can see that from the log4j api they enhanced log4j code 2.7.1 over here like this Okay, and then you can check the vulnerability check also and uh, 10 years ago complete release cycle also you can check that and how many Android projects uses it, not Android, 90% Android, 10%, how exactly the artifact is being used, compile provided and the test, the percentage criteria also being used. So you can check that how exactly this particular library is uh, popular or not in the market, is it really going good, is it a really active community, people are using it or not, like that you can check that. You can check the vulnerability check also quickly, uh, direct vulnerability, uh, whatever different problems were there with respect to that particular jar, it will give you complete information about it over here like this version wise. Same thing, let's see if I really want to check that from the web driver manager, any dependency with respect to, uh, see this is the Bonnie Gracia web driver manager. And five months ago, first release seven years ago in the form of jar file that they released. And in 2022, they have not released anything, but in 2021, they released around 10 versions. And the last version that they were using is 5.0.3, which is actually released uh, last year, 17.9.2021. And uh, it's a combination of different 29 dependency. And uh, see this here. This is a complete web driver 5.0.0. 5.0.3 and they are using google json sl4j uh, jsoup json also they are using it guava json also they are using it and guava is actually using uh, some other external dependencies also like that and then it's used over here like this so you can check the complete uh, transition uh, transitive rep uh, repositories also you can check that internal libraries also external libraries also you can check 
to create this particular library how many transitive repositories and uh, other dependencies they are using it so you will get the complete information about it over here like this so this is what a very good you can see that non android 98% android 2% and uh, for the compilation we are using for 72% provided by uh, that I mean provided with 2% and therefore the test uh, writing a test cases point of view we are using 26% most of the people they are using for the compile because whenever you're defining mm, the dependency in your format XML file there are th three scopes you have to provide compile provided in the test compile means I'm using only for SRC main Java both and test means I'm using it only for SRC test Java so complete information you will get to know here this is just a simple thing that I really want to share Bookmark this javalips.com. Check any dependency over here, and then I'm pretty much sure you will be liking it. It will help you to take a decision here that uh, uh, any vulnerability issues or uh, how many releases happened, and then um, any kind of latest release from last 10 years, how exactly this particular dependency is working, and also showing you with these graphs and everything. You can check that. That will help you a lot to take a decision with respect to open source in your company. Thank you so much. That's a simple short video that I really want to keep watching. I mean, automation labs. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.